name, he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Mm -hmm. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Leviticus, um, Leviticus uh, 26 and um, 26 and let's see Leviticus 26 and 40 and, and I'll read that. Leviticus 26 and 40 if they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham, will I remember, and I will remember the land. No, 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 keep going, keep going. The land also shall be left of them, and shall enjoy her, sap, her Shabbats, while she lieth desolate without them, and they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity, because even because they despised my judgments and because their soul abhorred my statutes. And yet for all that when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away, neither will I abhor them to destroy them utterly and to break my covenant with them. For I am the Lord their power, but I, I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen, that I might be their power, I am the Lord. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. Yeah. So can you get now um, Romans? Romans? And it shows you that you're sorry, it shows you that you're expendable too, because it says for their sake that he that, he, that he's gonna fulfill this. It's for you. The Lord ain't doing this for himself. He's doing it for your behalf. So you shouldn't get all proud. Yeah. Um, yeah, so so you see how Galatians 4. Um, wait, let's, um, okay. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We read, we read Galatians 4, all right? We see that the adoption, of, the adoption of sons are for them that were under the law. All right, and the and the Lord was made of a woman, made under the law. All right, to redeem them that were under the law, which is the Israelites. All right, so we're gonna read up a little bit more into into uh, Galatians three and um, twenty eight. Twenty eight. Okay. Galatians three and. 28. Actually, read read uh, read sixteen first, and then read twenty eight. Galatians 3 and 16. Now to Abram, Abraham and his seed were the promise made, he saved not, and to seeds as of many. Yeah, the promises, all right? Yeah. But as of one. So not many because Abraham had Ishmael, all right? Abraham, Abraham had, um, had Isaac. Who came out of Isaac? Esau, all right? So it's not, uh, the, the sons of Kotor is not dealing with that, it, it's, it's one, all right? Keep going. But as of one, and to thy seed, which is Yahweh Shai. All right, so who is the one that the friends come from? Who is the one that the friends come from? Who is the one that the friends come from? All right, and, and, and to the one to save his people. Who is the one that the friends come from? The Israelites, the rest of the 12 tribes, all right? So now read 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, 
there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Yahawashai. And if ye be of Yahawashai, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. And heirs according, heirs according to the promise. Who was the promise to me? Unto uh, Israel. All right. So we, so we know that this is not talking about no spiritual thing because some people get it. Oh, and, and, and if you believe in Christ, then you're just Abraham's seed already. You're an Israelite. Just because you believe, oh, I'm, I'm spiritual Israel. You know, you got people in the church saying that they're spiritual Israel. All right. But you're not, you're not heirs according to the promise, man. So it goes into some detail. Can you read um, Romans 7 and 16? This is Romans 7 and 16. If then I do that, which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Oh, 8, 8, 8, 8, 10, 16, 17. But sin, taking occasion by the commandment, wrought in me all manner. No, 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 8, 8 and 16. Oh, 8 and 16? Yeah, 8 and 16. Good. The Spirit itself, this is Romans 8 and 16, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if the children then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Yahawashai, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. For I reckon that... No, no, yeah, so, so you see that in the kingdom we're going to be joint heirs, all right? And then we're just reading about heirs of the promise. Then what, 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 what are the promises? All right, to join, to join with Yahweh Shai, be joint heirs. All right, and let's see who that is for. All right, because the Bible don't contradicts itself. All right, can you hear the Romans nine and one? Romans nine and one. I say the truth in Yahweh Shai. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great not great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I could wish that myself were accursed from Yahawashai for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites. Who are Israelites according to the flesh. Keep on. To whom pertaineth the adoption. We read that in Galatians four. It's for the it's for them who are under the law. Alright, to redeem them that are under the law, to receive the adoptions of son. Keep on. And the glory and the covenants. We read, we read that in, uh, what was that? Romans um, Romans 8. We read that in Romans Romans 8 about being joined heirs. That's the glory. Keep going. And, and giving the law. Wait, and yeah, yeah. So we read that in uh, Leviticus. We read that in Psalms 147 about the covenants and the law. Right? And the service of Yahweh. So who can serve God? Let, let you people answer that. All right. So the servants of God are, are Israelites. All right. Keep going. And the promises. And the promises. All right. So keep going. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Yahweh Shai came? Yep. Who is over all the Most High blessed forever? Amen. That's it. All right. Can you get First uh, Corinthians ten and one? First Corinthians ten and one. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant, how that all our fathers were under the cloud, and all passed through the sea. So he's speaking to the Corinthians. These people are supposed to be. Um, Gentiles supposedly that Paul's speaking to. Why would he say our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea? Alright? Because they're Israelites. Alright? That's why he's referring to them. If I'm if I'm making a speech or writing a letter to somebody, alright, who's not of my kindred, how can I write our father unless they are of my kindred? It only makes sense. So you guys got to read with comprehension. All right. Good one. Verse 2. And we're all baptized 
unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that flowed, that followed them, and that rock was Yahawashai. Okay, so now, can you get um, 1 Corinthians 12, and uh, 12 and 1, and read down to 2. 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have ye ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Yeah, so how, so how can ye be once Gentiles? Huh? You, how, how are you a Hamite and one incident? And all of a sudden you're, you're another nation now. You're, you're Israelite now. How can you be an Arab and then all of a sudden you're, you're Israelite? No? How can you be an a Edomite now you're Israelite? It doesn't make sense. Alright? The only way, the only way that that can happen is unless if you were in a Gentile state of mind. Alright? And coming back to your nationality. Keep going. Uh, well, actually, no, 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 that's, um, that was it on that. Um, let's get Acts, Acts 5 and, uh, Acts 5 and 29. Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. The Most High of our fa the, the power of our fathers raised up Yahawashai, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses of these things and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom the Most High hath given to them that obey Him. When they heard that they were cut to the heart, and took counsel to slay them, then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel. Yeah, so that was, um... Yeah, so, 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 so that was basically it. That, that shows you that the Most High is coming for Israel. Alright. So can you get um, Acts 13, 13 and 23? Uh, well, actually 22, start at 22. 13 and 22? Acts 13 and 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he, he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed hath the Most High, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a savior, Yahawashai. When John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel, and, John, and as John fulfilled his course, he said, Whom think ye that I am? I am not he, but behold, there cometh one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. So you read, um, you read 23, right? Yeah. That it says, Of this man's seed hath God according to his promise raised up unto Israel a Savior, Jesus, Yahweh. Alright. Um let's get um what is that? Um what is that? Jeremiah or uh, Hebrews eight and eight. Hebrews 8 and 8. Mm -hmm. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant 
with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. And that he saith, a new covenant he hath made, the first old, now that which this decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. Okay. So now, we know that the New Testament covenant is for Israel, the house of Israel and the house of Judah, all right, which is unique Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, so let's get Jeremiah 31 and... Uh, Thirty-one and thirty-one. This is Jeremiah thirty-one and thirty-one. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, mm -hmm. and will be their power, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sins no more. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon and the stars for light by night, which divideth the sea when the waves their roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. Yeah, so um, can you get, it's still in uh, 31, okay. Can you get um, 31 and 1, read down to 2, and then jump down to 7 and 8. This is Jeremiah 31 and 1. At the same time, saith the Lord, will I be the power of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus saith the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause them to rest. Verse 8, Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the e from the from Salakia, from the coast of the earth, and with them. Let's read. Um, read uh, six. Read six. Again. Verse six. Mm -hmm. For there shall be a day that the watchmen upon the mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go up to Zion unto the Lord our power. For thus saith the Lord, sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief. So that's, that's what we're seeing in the camps right now. We got a lot of Latinos and natives joining, joining the camps, all right? And, and they're being set up as watchmen, all right? And they're crying out, all right, unto Zion, all right, to turn back unto the Most High. Let's go up to Zion, unto the Lord our God, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Yeah, so read seven and eight. Among the chief of the nations, publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country, and gather them from the coast of the earth, and with them the blind and the lame, the woman with child, and her that travaileth with child together. A great company shall return thither. Yeah, so um, go to Ezekiel 36, 
and uh, 24. Ezekiel 36 and 24. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all the countries and will bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse ye, you. A new heart also will I give you, and put a new spirit will I and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes. And ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I give to you, that I gave to your fathers. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. I will also save you from all your uncleanness. And I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the, and the increase of the field that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then shall you remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good and shall loathe yourself in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. Not for your sakes I do this, saith the Lord Power. Be it known unto you, be ashamed and confound for your own ways, O house of Israel. Okay. So that was it. I hope, I hope you guys are getting a clear understanding. All right, of what's going on in these last days, all right, and who the Lord came for. All right. All right. Can you get our uh, first Timothy's one and seven and eight? First Timothy one and seven. Desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say, nor whereof they affirm. But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. Oh shoot, was it first Timothy's? Um, yeah, sorry. Um, I believe it's second Timothy. Yeah, one, one seven. Oh, that's yeah, 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 that one. Okay. First, uh, Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For the Most High hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of, the, of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the Most High. Let's see. So you got it. You're not a partaker if you're if you're internet, you know. You're one of these internet guys, or you know, some of these guys who just come out and um, and just listen once a year. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know. No, you know, you're not being a partaker of of, of, of this uh, gospel, okay? So, you know, the Most High didn't give us a spirit of fear, so we ain't supposed to be fearing these times. The people who are supposed to fear are the Edomites, all right? They're the ones who are going down, all right? Um, can you get um, Psalms, Psalms 136 and 22? Down to, uh, Psalms 136 and 22 Even in heritage unto Israel his servant For his mercy endureth forever Who remembered us in our low estate For his mercy endureth forever And hath redeemed us from our enemies For his mercy endureth forever 
who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endures forever. Yeah, so, so, when is this really going to be fulfilled? It's, it's when we get up out of this captivity. Alright? Yeah, uh, yeah, finish it up. Verse 26. Oh, give thanks unto the, to the Most High of Heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. That was a, a good understanding, all right, of who the Lord, who the Lord came for, all right, who He died for, all right. Um, did you have a scripture? Oh, no, that was it. No, I don't have it. Um, can can you get um, Psalms seventy five and uh, and uh, nine? Okay. Psalms seventy five and nine. But I will declare forever. I will sing praises to the Most High of Jacob, the power of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Okay. So that's what's gonna happen, man. All right, all you people out there trying to say the Lord died for everybody, all right? We're showing you scriptures, we're showing you facts, all right? Biblical facts that he didn't die for everybody, all right? So the horn of the wicked is gonna be cut off, man. Those are those mega churches, uh, your pastor, your preacher, uh, you know, um, the governments, um, these wicked people that that allow this foolish philosophy to to um, to be popular, all right. So they're going to be cut off, man, for all that false teaching, all right. Whether they be Israelites or um, or Edomites, they're going to be cut off, all right, all right. But who 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 who's holding the horns of, of the wicked is the Edomites, all right. And who's following the Bati is is Israelites, all right. All right, and, and, and if you don't know what Bhakti is, you know, then who, who's running up their ass, all right? It's Israelites, all right? want to be um, follow fashion, all right? They want to they wanna follow the Edomites, all right? Just like, um, just like they're in Rome, just like they're in the Greek period, all right? They want to, they love their oppressor. That's why Jake, Jake is still in this Egyptology crap, all right? And you got a lot of Latinos who are into um, Egyptology, all right? Not as much as Jake, but, um, you know, with all that crap. But um, but you got a lot, a lot of Latinos who, um, you know, who are who are into that as well. Okay, about how great Egypt was, and they want to study more, and um, you know, all type of things, you know, all type of craziness, madness. Okay. Um, so you didn't have anything? I think I have one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 14. I have Isaiah 14 and 21. Okay, yeah, dude, we'll just finish it off from there. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, and they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the faces, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... That's gonna happen in these end times, all right? Um, did you have anything else to say? Oh no, that was it. No, was it. Okay, all right, all right. So, so that's it. All right, see you guys on the next round. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Mill. Uh, yeah, Great Great Millstone GMS. And uh, shalom to the brothers on the four corners of the earth. Uh, this is Brother Kapayim. Brother Gabar Allah. Yeah, we're from uh, GMS Toronto. Shalom. Shalom.